Hello, I'm Professor Benavides, and let's talk about lists. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list. Let's create a list of grades. And instead of showing the items in the list by the index value, brute force, let's go ahead and use a loop to go ahead and show the items in the list. And then let's use some basic functions to find the total number of, of uh, items in the list, the total and the average. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the lowest score and then relist the grades again. So to repeat, this is still a small little exercise on, on using lists in a loop. And um, we're gonna show the grades. We're gonna go ahead and then show the, the, the lowest grade, the, the average, and um, drop the lowest grade and then relist everything again. So let's go ahead and start sublime text. And let's put, put in some basic uh, comments here. And I might as well just go ahead and save it now so I can go ahead and get some uh, assistance from the editor. I'm gonna go file, save as, save it to the desktop. And let's just go ahead and call this drop grade. because That's what it does, it drops the lowest grade. I guess I could put drop the lowest grade, but that's a lot of, a lot of typing. Drop grade dot py. Don't forget to put the py for Python because this is, about the Python programming language. It's about using lists and using a, a loop to tra traverse the elements in the list. So the basic um, comments about this, uh, the name of the program is dropgrade.py. Then you'll go ahead and put in your name for documentation purposes, the date, and a description. All right. To be more specific, the for statement. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is is um, you know create our list and and um, print the report header. So let's go ahead and create our list of grades and a list is in square brackets. So we got a hundred, an 80, a 70, a 60, and then a 90. They're separated by a comma, right? So that's our list. So let's go ahead and print the report header and we'll just call it drop lowest grade program. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a um, new line, escape code. And um, let's start off by showing the grades using a uh, for statement. So we'll say for grade. It doesn't matter what that variable is that you call it. You know, but if it's if our list is grades, it makes sense to call this variable grade. So you say for grade in grades, colon, right? You know, you could you could just say for x. You know, so it it, it doesn't matter, but it makes it, it it reads better if you put down the the, the target variable uh, right here, grade, um, so that every time uh, so that as we're looping through the elements in it, you're getting one grade at a time. What do we want to do? We just want to simply want to print it. Right. So let's just go ahead and run it right now and see what we get. So we've got drop the lowest grade program and it has listed our grades. So we're doing okay so far, right? Then what we're going to do is is we're going to go ahead and 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 um, 
do a few things to find some basic statistics on this these grades like you know the average and, and stuff like that so first thing we want to do is is uh, uh use the sum function to calculate the total and the sum function is really helpful uh because you know, instead of instead of of um, creating an accumulator inside the list here and accumulating the sum i can just simply use the sum uh, function i'm going to assign it to a variable called total okay and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and find the average and that's going to be total divided by using the length method okay so uh here again we find that the sum function very helpful here the length function very helpful uh otherwise inside of that loop i would have had to have created a accumulator for the total and a counter to count the number of grades so this has really simplified my um programming significantly so now i'm going to just go ahead and print out the number of grades using a formatted string so let's say number of grades and we're going to put in a little placeholder here with these curly brackets inside here i'm simply going to go ahead and uh, use the length property again and pass it grades and that's going to count out five right and the reason why i want this to be um you know dynamic is that you know if i drop the lowest grade and i want to go ahead and find the length again it'll show four rather than me just popping in a while number uh, on here all right so then let's go ahead and then after the number of grades let's go ahead and print the average now let's put this in as a formatted string as well and we'll uh, use a little placeholder as well and inside this placeholder we'll see average now i'm going to go ahead and format this to two decimal places it'll look a little bit nicer so to do that we'll put in the colon dot 2f let me go ahead and run this see what we got all right so my average is an 80 so far okay so if you if you uh, sum this up it sums up to 400 and then 400 divided by by five gives gives us uh, an average of, of 80. you know and i uh the the dot 2f is good in case you put in different numbers there it you may end up with a fractional uh amount and uh, it'll it'll make the, the formatting of it look a little bit uh, better now uh the 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 hard part on here is of this program is finding out the lowest grade so that we can then go ahead and drop it uh, there's several things that we have to do to go ahead and drop the lowest grade so let's just walk through this uh, on here so the first thing i want to do is find the lowest grade and i'll just put it in the variable called lowest grade and i'll use the min function for this i love these little functions that lists that you can do on a list because they you know otherwise i'd have to do a whole bunch of little ifs to go ahead and, and figure that out so now i've got the lowest grade uh so i can go ahead and print that out now and then i'm going to use that in, in in just a little while okay so let's just go ahead and say lowest grade and put the little placeholder in here and the lowest grade is uh lowest grade okay uh, i guess it looks okay like that all right so we look at this code over you know i could have done uh, this calculation right in here but i like the idea of assigning the return of min grades to a variable is you know just the way i i wanted to go ahead and, and do that So our next line would, would then uh, be to go ahead and and get the index of the lowest grade. So let's say grade 
let's call this uh, grade lowest index index and I'll, I'll elaborate on this so we'll say grades dot index and we want to find the index of the lowest grade that's what we want All right so what happens here is I'm using the index method okay of this particular grade I want to get it and put it into a variable called grade lowest index I'm going to need that index so that I can go ahead and then delete it delete that grade okay so then the next line of code would then be to delete that particular grade so another uh, neat function here would be delete grades of and then square bracket grade lowest index that is how that's my little algorithm for deleting the lowest grade so the, the first thing I had to do was I had to find the lowest grade so that's min applied to grades that gives me the lowest grade right uh, and then I just simply show it then I, I've got to go ahead and, and um, get the index of the lowest grade so that I could then use the, the, the uh, delete statement to delete that lowest grade using, you've got to know the index to go ahead and delete the lowest grade. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and state that um, I have um, deleted the lowest grade. And let me just go ahead and put in a uh, new line on here. Put this in caps. Okay. Let me just run it right. Uh, run it again so you can see what I've done so far. So uh, before we go any further. So so far it it says uh, drop the lowest grade. I've got my grades on here, and I've got five grades. It's an average of uh, an average of uh, 80. The lowest grade is 60. I'm dropping the lowest grade. I haven't shown the results of doing that yet. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and and then relist everything so that um, you know so that uh, you can go ahead and and verify so we can verify that the lowest grade uh, you know was indeed uh, dropped. Okay. Um, I may want to distinguish uh, or print out that I, I am, for example, uh, printing out grades. So let me just come up here and put in a little print statement and say print. And then I'll just say backslash n grades. Okay, colon. I think that'll make it look nicer, you know. So that let me just show you when, when you when you run it on here. So it just doesn't say the numbers by themselves. It says grades. Okay, uh, and um, so we probably don't. I probably don't need that right there because I saw too too many spaces on there. Uh, or I could put that there and get rid of it here. Right, so it doesn't matter where you uh, get rid of it. So I'm running against to make sure the spacing is right on here. So I've got drop the lowest grade program. I'm showing the grades. I show that it's five, average 80, and then I've dropped the lowest grade. All I got to do now is just relist this again. You know, I could type it all in, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get this code, cheat a little bit, and. Um, Go ahead and then and sh get the code that I need to show everything again, total it up, compute the new average, show the new lowest grade. I don't need to drop the lowest grade again, so I don't have to go like all the way on this. So I just do a control C on that. Lowest grade, grade dropped, do a control V on here, and it should make sense. I'm listing the grades again. I have to recompute the total and the average because you know, I dropped the lowest grade, right? The, the number of grades should show four since I dropped one. 
I should have a new average. You may want to get a calculator and verify that it works. Um, I'm showing the new lowest grade, and that's the end of the program, you know? Um, you know, if you want, I like to always put a last print statement by itself. It, it gives an, a blank line at the end. So let's just go ahead and run this, see what happens. So, so we've got our drop the lowest grade program. I, I show my grades from the list, okay? I use the uh, length property to give me the number of grades. To find the average, I go ahead and um, uh, use the sum the sum uh, uh, function to find the total and divide it by the length. That gives me the average. And so the, the lowest grade is the min function. So I just, you know, I, I, uh, run the min function on grades and it gives me the lowest grade. Then I drop, I go through that little routine of dropping the lowest grade, which I, you remember I have to find out the index of the lowest grade. So I, if you can see here, 60 was the lowest grade. It was dropped here. I now have four grades, and the average went up from an 80 to an 85. The new lowest grade now is a 70. Okay. So um, yeah, yeah, this program was about lists and and using um, or traversing the list by means of uh, a loop. Uh, a for statement uh, is here. I used um, a for statement to print out the um, the grades. So for each grade in grades, I printed it out. Probably the most difficult thing on here uh, was this little um, this little scheme of uh, of uh, that I had to go through to to find the uh, the lowest grade. So I used the min function to get the lowest grade, right? Then I went ahead and, and had to get use the, the index method to find the index of that grade. I, don't, I didn't need to assign it to a variable, but I, I like to deal with variables. And then I passed that index, you know, uh, to um, the delete statement to delete that particular grade at that index. So that, that's pretty much my rendition uh, of, um, of uh, dropping the lowest grade and proving that the lowest grade uh, was dropped.